Creativity has no limits, and that is proven every day by people who come in to paint and show off their photographs in a spot on Nashville's Dickerson Pike. That's a pretty big brush in back of the scene. <laughs> the place is called Poverty in the Arts, and News Force Terry Bolger spent some time there today. I love painting. I'd rather paint than eat. And you know, looking at me, you know, I like to eat. So. <laughs> That sense of humor makes A.M. Hassan a wanted regular here. Her paintings show off her talent, if not her whole story. At one time, my husband and I were homeless. We had jobs, but just like Nashville now, we could not afford to get a place. This place, Pova, a creative place, helps so many who are similar. So many people on the streets have these hidden talents and they're not able to um, express them or be even have them valued by our community. So five years ago, Belmont grad Nicole Minyard opened Poverty and the Arts, a place for the displaced and a chance to let it out on canvas. Here comes the sun. The paintings made here cover all emotions. Interpret them as you will. Nicole says it's one way to respect their humanity, among others. Even if it's just to stop and um, get to know them or to say hi, um, or even a smile that validates um, their existence. Terry Bulger, News 4. Oh, what a story. Now, Poverty in the Arts is a nonprofit. The artists do sell their paintings and receive 60% of the cut. And those paintings are gorgeous, right? The other 40% buys paint, supplies, and pays for the staff.